Good day to everyone again. Welcome back to our uh, discussion on the general mathematics lecture series on interest. Today we'll be discussing the uh, concept or the idea of compound interest. Again, before we are going to uh, start, may I uh, invite you again to please uh, subscribe this channel by uh, clicking the uh, subscribe button below this uh, window. And after uh, clicking the subscribe button, please click the notification bell beside it so that uh, should there be a new uh, posted uh, lesson you will always be notified let's move on last time we were discussing the uh, interest and we have said that when we speak of interest uh, there are two types now uh, the first one is the simple interest and uh, i already discussed this one last time which when we are going to uh, get the simple interest, we are just going to make use of the formula I, which stands for interest, is equated to PRT or principal multiplied by the given rate multiplied by the given time of any loan. So we have in here the uh, uh, definition of alphabets we have in the PRT. So I stands for interest, P stands for the principal or the amount you uh, uh, borrowed, R stands for the rate of interest and uh, of course the T stands for the time that is in years or uh, T stands for the term as uh, what we discussed last time or T even uh, represent the period of loan, period. Okay, so that is the simple interest. Moving on, so to at least uh, have a recall of the problem or the idea of simple interest, we have here the problem. If you invest uh, $3,000 at 5% interest for one year, how much will you make for the given year or for that one year now let's try to compute for this one now you will notice the given is of course a principal of three thousand dollar another one would be a rate of interest that is five percent for uh, one year and uh, of course the uh, uh, length of the investment that is one year so how would I get the interest or what would be the gain of the uh, uh, investment you made so you just follow the PRT the principal which is 3000 multiplied by 5% that is converted to uh, a decimal which gives you 0 0.05 and multiplied by one year how much that is $150 so meaning to say the earning of your $3,000 in one year at, at a given 5% rate of interest you will be having $150 and so what would be the final amount of course that is you just add that $150 to $3,000 so your final amount would be $3,150 in one year okay so that is how to compute for the uh, interest of 3000 using the simple interest now our focus is the compound interest and so how do we compute for the compound interest so if we are going to uh, compute for the compound interest Again, we have to recall the meaning of uh, the word compound interest or the idea of the compound interest. We have said last time that the interest of uh, a given investment, when we use this uh, uh, concept of interest, is that the interest will be coming from the principal. 
and uh, added to the interest of unearned interest. So again, in the compound interest, the interest will earn an interest. Unlike in the simple interest, the interest will never incur an interest. Okay, so that is the idea of compound interest. Now, what would be our working equation? Okay, so our working equation for the compound interest is we have in here a is equal to p multiplied by the quantity 1 plus r raised to the given time. So you will notice I make use of uh, the alphabet A in here. The A in here represent not only an amount, but uh, it is actually the final amount or future value. It can also be said to be maturity value or that is the balance. So that is the uh, uh, A. Now what about the P? The P in here is the principal, okay? The principal or the, uh, the amount that uh, you invested or the amount that you loan. So that is the P, principal. And R is the rate. And another one in here is the T, which stands uh, for time or length of time, or that is again the period or term of the given uh, loan or investment in uh, a given number of years. To understand the uh, compound interest, now we will illustrate this one using this problem. It says in here, find the total amount in your account if you started with $750 at 7.5% uh, interest for 2.5 years, so 2 years and 6 months. So how will you uh, solve for this problem? To solve this problem, you take note one by one the given. The given are the following. Uh, the principal is uh, $750, the rate of interest is 7.5% and of course the period of loan or the T is 2.5 years or 2 years and 6 months. So how will you uh, solve for the uh, uh, total amount or future value or maturity value after 2.5 years? Again make use of uh, our working equation which is uh, final amount Maturity value is equal to uh, the principal multiplied by the quantity 1 plus R raised to the given uh, period of the loan. Okay, So to answer this, we have now in here just plug in the uh, given, which is the principal. So our P is $750 and uh, multiplied by the quantity 1 plus the given rate of interest which is the same as 7.5% uh, uh, to be converted in decimal form so it will give you that is 0 0.075 and uh, raised to the given uh, period of the loan which is 2.5 years now having your calculator just uh, plug in in your calculator it will give you now this uh, uh, result $750 multiplied by 1.075 raised to the uh, term of the loan which is 2.5 years. So calculate them using your calculator. Uh, to calculate them, you raise first the 1.075 to 2.5. Then the result will be multiplied it to $750. And so, it will give you a result of 898.63 dollars. So, that is the final amount. That is the final amount. Now, you might be thinking, what is or how much is the uh, interest of uh, the 750 dollars? 
to get the interest of for $750, that is just uh, uh, a matter of subtracting the final amount or uh, the future value or the maturity value, which is $898.63 minus the principal $750. And so it will give you 100, $148.63 dollar as the interest for how many years? 2.5 years. Okay, so that is the uh, problem. The next one would be how much should you invest at seven percent to have uh, 200 dollar after five years? So, the problem in here is the principal. Now, how do we compute for the principal? Again, it's not that so difficult. You just uh, follow our working equation. But before we're going to follow our working equation, you have to uh, identify again the different given of the problem. The given is uh, $200. What is that $200? That is what is that $200? That is the final amount after 5 years. What is the period of the loan or T? That is 5 years. And how much is the rate of interest? That is 7%. Now, how do we answer this one? To answer this one, you just plug in your uh, given to the, to the working equation that we have. So again, what did we say about $200? That is the final amount. Okay? Final amount or future value or maturity value after five years. So that uh, 200 will uh, replace your A, okay? A in your working equation. So what is your working equation? A is equal to P multiplied by the quantity 1 plus the given rate raised to the given period of time, or that is the T. And so let's continue. Now, your 200 is your final amount. Your P is your, uh, what's that? Your P is your uh, uh, problem. That is the unknown. That is the problem in the, uh, uh, that is the unknown in the given problem. And of course, we have in here uh, 1.07, which is 1 plus uh, seven percent to give you 1.07 and of course raised to the fifth power now how do you get this one to uh, solve for this one you raise first your 1.07 to 5 so that is the same as saying 1.07 multiplied by how many times to itself how many times that you make use of your 1.07 as factors five times okay five times so after having now the result of this one divide it divide 200 by the result of this one and so what is left at the other side is p now uh, to have the final answer we have in here that is 142.60 dollar now what is that that is the amount of the principal so it is the amount of the principal that you will invest or you will save in a given institution or a given bank which will earn 7% interest per year, okay, per year within 5 years. So, so that you will have a final amount after 5 years of $200. That is how to solve for this that is how to solve this problem. To further understand the compound interest, now we have another uh, scenario or problem in here. Okay. Uh, before we're going to discuss this one, one of the reasons why interest is uh, integrated in your curriculum is that uh, so that you, my student, will learn how to save. And uh, here is the scenario. If you put or invested $100 in the bank at 4% interest rate and uh, leave it until you are already 60 years old, how much money will you be having 
when you reach that age. So meaning to say, what is the maturity value of your principal amount? $100. So, how will you answer this one? Again, assuming that uh, you're already 14 years old today and uh, you are the one who invested this amount and you are thinking that uh, when you reach uh, your age 60 years old in the future, you will be... Uh, you will be having uh, some sort of, uh, you will be having a money, okay, for your uh, bongacious uh, birthday. Now, if you are 14 years old today, you can now assume that the uh, period or the length of time of the investment is 46. How did we uh, took that 46? That is 60 minus your age today. So 60 minus 14, it will give you 46. Now, so what are the given now for you to compute the problem? The given now will be uh, time is 46. And of course, the principal will be $100. The rate of interest will be uh, 4%. Again, how are you going to uh, solve for this problem? You just plug in your uh, given to our working equation. What is our working equation? Uh, final amount, as I said, your A in here is amount, final amount, balance, maturity value, or future amount. So you just uh, plug in your uh, value. Your P is your principal, which is $100. And of course, multiplied by the quantity 1 plus the rate of interest, which is 4%, and raised to uh, 46, which is the period or the length of time or the length of uh, investment or savings. Now, you will notice when you're going to continue, uh, 1 plus 4% is the same as 1.04. That is to be raised with our uh, length of time, which is 46. After that one, multiply it to 100. So what would be the final amount? The final amount would be $607.48. So that is your uh, money when you reach your, uh, or when you will be reaching your birthday at the age of 60, okay? So, convert that one into peso today, and that is uh, at least uh, a big, big amount, okay? These are the problems as the application of our uh, lesson today, which is compound interest. What about if it is a mutual fund that pays 10% interest? So, the same equation, same equation. We have in here future amount, future value is equal to principal multiplied by 1 plus R raised to the given time or period of uh, the mature, uh, mutual fund. After that one, plug, it, uh, plug in your uh, given, your principal and your uh, rate of interest and then after that one, uh, using your calculator, it will give you at least eight thousand seventeen dollars and ninety five cents so this is one of uh, again mutual fund is one of the application of compound interest before you are going to uh, uh, close this one may I invite you again to please uh, subscribe this uh, channel Thank you and hope you understand the lesson.